hello everybody. Welcome to today's webinar with Viva Mondo and BMI. Uh, we are here with the wonderful Torbogato University of Rome. We will be heading over to Italy for today's uh, webinars with the wonderful Francesca and Camilla, who will be here to answer any of your questions, should you have any, throughout the webinar. Now, any webinar uh, questions, please do ask them in the Q&A box just at the bottom of your screen there, and we will get to those at the very end of our webinar. All right, I'm going to hand you over to Francesco, who will be here to assist you and give the presentation. Okay. Uh, so uh, thanks a lot for uh, for the introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. So um, I will uh, present uh, uh, you know the our master of economics uh, here in Tor Vergata. You know, uh, so uh, you know this we are a university in uh, uh, in Rome. Okay, so um, uh, so let me uh, you know the roam up of the, my presentation. You know, I'll tell you a bit. Who we are, so who, who am I, and who are the other people in the board of, of the Master of Economics? I'll give you a brief presentation of the main feature of our program. I'll tell you about the international opportunities that we offer to our students, um, uh, you know, uh, some scholarship and grants that uh, we, we offer, uh, and then I'll, uh, I'll tell you about the placements of uh, uh you know of our graduates and you know then at the end i'll give you a bit more um administrative detail on how to apply to our program and uh, how the admission work okay so let me let me start uh, telling you uh, about uh, our university so that the master is a master offered by the university of university of rome um Maybe not of you uh, uh, know uh, uh, our university, but you know it's a, a university that is uh, very much uh, uh, you know both uh, teaching and research oriented. So we uh, are in the top fifty uh, of uh, the uh, university worldwide, and we are in the top five in Italy. So we are very you know all the faculties very active in research, and uh, you know we we uh, you know. Um, have a, a, a very international uh, uh, background and uh, a network of uh, of our university. Uh, let me tell you, uh, you know, a bit also about about me. So I am uh, the academic coordinator of uh, uh, of this master economics, and I am a professor in the department of economics and finance of uh, the Vertical University. I'm also affiliated uh, with uh, the uh, CESIFO, uh, you know, research center in Germany, uh, and uh, I uh, did get my PhD in economics uh, from the University of Southern California in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, I have also master from the University Warwick University in the UK, and I am undergraduate from Bocconi University in, in Italy. Okay, so um, so I'm I'm the coordinator, so I'm the the one uh, supervising the master, but uh, along uh, uh, along myself, there is a, a board of uh, of the master. Uh, uh, you know, uh, there is Professor Gagliarducci, who is uh, the director of placement. Professor D'Amato, who is uh, you know uh, supervising uh, uh, along with me, and Professor Gagliarducci, the admission process uh, and selecting student. Professor Belotti is uh, 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 is a delegate for the student relation and Erasmus coordinator and Professor Atella, which is also the head of our department, is also a member of the board. Okay, so this is the board where, uh, you know, we, we, we discuss about, you know, the structure of the program and we deal also with any, any request a student may have uh, on uh, specific uh, fields. Okay. So um, in a snapshot, uh, this is a, a, a two-year master in economics. Okay, so it's entirely taught in English, uh, and we have international classes. By international classes, I do mean that we have both uh, a, a, a you know percentage of our student is uh, uh, is international. So uh, you know we um, uh, you know about thirty percent of our student you know. Are uh, uh, come from abroad, and also our faculty, you know, 
uh, we have an international faculty, you know, both in terms of citizenship, but also in terms of, you know, their international experience, international education. Okay. So, and another thing, you know, and, and I'll, I'll discuss all of this. So we, we uh, as I will discuss, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, we take very good care of our students. We, we offer a personal tutoring service and we have an excellent placement. Okay, so now I'm going to elaborate on all, all of these of these points. Okay, so uh, so first, let me tell you what you're going to study if you uh, you know enroll in our program. Okay, so during our first year, during the first year, basically, you know, we we give uh, an offer our student, you know, uh, the uh, you know uh, important you know the main important tools that you you know you you should expect in in an advanced master of economics. Okay, so first we have a course in mathematics and statistics. We do also offer a pre-course in statistics for students that you know may come from a background where they didn't uh, you know study much these these topics. Okay, and then uh, we have a course uh, in uh, uh, we offer a course in econometrics. And then uh, we have advanced courses uh, in microeconomics and macroeconomics. So basically, you're going to study micro one and micro two, macro one and macro two. So basically, we give all the important uh, quantitative economic foundation for uh, undertaking advanced economic analysis. And then uh, we, along this, we basically offer a course on coding for economic application, where basically we train and we teach our students for different uh, um, uh, uh, softwares, okay? MATLAB, R, STAD, and Python. So basically these are software for, uh, that, you know, that are very much used for uh, data analysis, okay? And, uh, you know, Python, you know, is, you know, is a software that, you know, some of you have may heard is you know apart from analysis is often you know where we you, we can teach we can teach students also how to scrape data from from the web uh, how to do and many many fancy things that you know nowadays are are important if you want to analyze uh, and collect uh, data okay in the second year we offer more specialized classes so we offer uh, we offer a course in library economics where uh, you know this is a course also where basically uh, you know our student uh, you know learn how to you know uh, analyze uh, uh, also data to for example do policy evaluation okay so this is uh, the kind of tools that uh, uh, for example national international institution very much demand when you know uh, you have a given uh, intervention program how to analyze the data to see whether this is effective uh, then we have a course in uh, law and economics where we basically, uh, you know, discuss also, you know, issue of uh, antitrust law uh, and uh, antitrust uh, economics, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know, and this is uh, again a course that uh, is very much useful if you wanna work in uh, uh, in um, in an antitrust authority, you know, uh, at the national international level a public economics course, which I teach myself. Um, uh, so the, where you learn, uh, you know, the, the basic of uh, uh, public sector economics, and then you uh, can choose uh, different electives courses, okay? So these, uh, uh, these elective courses are in three broad areas, okay? So we have some elective courses in the area of general economics, some in the area of applied economics, and some in quantitative methods, okay? In terms of general economics, we have we offer courses in industrial organization, in international economics, uh, and topics in the area of macroeconomics. In applied economics, we offer courses, uh, you can take courses in human capital migration development. So it's a course in basically economic development. A course that we can take, uh, we have a course, we offer a course in environmental economics, health economics, and political economy. Okay. And then we have a third area, okay, which is where we offer a broad, I would say, unique uh, set of uh, courses in quantitative methods. You know that I think you know very few programs, not just in Italy, not just in Europe, but worldwide, offer this 
uh, rich set and advanced set of uh, quantity differential course uh, in a master. Okay, so we have uh, a course in big data analysis for economic and finance, where basically we know we do, do teach our students, for example, machine learning technique. For example, how to uh, classify uh, text uh, uh, text data. Suppose you want to analyze, for example, the, the speech of uh, you know a central bank and see whether they have a positive or negative tone, and you want to see how these affect the stock market. You know, these are the kind of tools we, we you can learn in this course. Then we have a course in microeconometrics where you know this is a advanced course in uh, analyzing uh, uh, data on uh, individual level data, firm level data, and these kind of things. Do we have a course in structural econometrics modeling where basically uh, uh, we teach our students how to analyze data um, where agents are connected in their network. Okay, say that you, know, you analyze uh, data of firms that are connected in a cluster or uh, you know, agents that uh, you know, operate in a social media environment so that they are connected you know these are the econometric tools that you uh, you need to understand uh, you know uh, uh, how to deal with the data in this kind of situation and then uh, of course we we do have uh, 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 courses where we offer time series econometrics so where we you know if uh, you know where we want to do uh, econometrics uh, data uh, of uh, you know economic forecasting we we, we and, uh, uh, and, and of uh, analysis of, of the series in general, we offer uh, both a course in time series and advanced topic in time series. Okay. Uh, so basically, the idea is that you can kind of pick and choose uh, among these three sets in terms of elective, but we do have uh, three, uh, three uh, tracks. Okay. And so we have uh, some pre specified uh, tracks where you know, we kind of guide uh, uh, students uh, in choosing these courses, but you know, you are you you are also given the option to uh, you know present a plan of study where you have a bit of flexibility, and you know we're gonna then approve in the second year whether this is uh, this is fine or not. Okay, so you have a, a broad uh, a, a range of uh, uh, of uh, um, uh, of possibility. Um, we, we do also offer the possibility to our students to substitute one elective course with an internship, okay? So this is 150 hours, so instead of taking one of these elective courses, you can do a 150 hours internship, and in particular, you can do two types of internship, okay? So you can uh, go and work in the private sector, you know, uh, for or some national international institution do some some internship there maybe in the summer of the first year or uh, you know or or uh, you know during the second year um, uh, or and then you know this is uh, it's going to count as one elective course or we do also offer what the, what we call an academic internship okay especially for students that are considering to maybe apply later on for uh, a PhD, you know, you, this is an internship where you can uh, work as a research assistant for one of the professors in our department. And so, you know, you know get some hands-on experience on uh, what economic research is about, uh, you know, for example, you know, gather some data, uh, you know, do some, some basic economic analysis, and so on and so forth. And so this is, uh, you know, uh, a possibility to, to, you know, enrich uh, your, uh, your skills uh, uh, and, uh, you know, um, uh, in, in terms of, uh, you know, if you're interested later on in pursuing an academic uh, career, okay? What kind of international, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, opportunities we do offer? So we do have two double degrees. Okay, so basically one with the University of Gutenberg in, in Sweden and one University of Constance in Germany. Uh, so the idea is basically that uh, you spend your first year in Tor Vergata and then uh, if you apply to this uh, double degree program and you are admitted, so we have two uh, places for the University of Gutenberg and two places each year for the University of Constance. 
Uh, so if you apply and you're admitted, then you spend your second year in one of these universities and then you get the double degree. So then you're gonna have a, de a master degree both from Tor Vergada and from Gothenburg or a master degree from Tor Vergada and Constance, okay? And of course it works both ways so, so we do have uh, students from Gothenburg and Constance that come for the second year in studying in Tor Vergada, okay? And uh, I'll tell you a bit more also in a moment about this. And then, of course, you can also do uh, the Erasmus Plus, uh, your overseas opportunities. You should do also the thesis abroad. Okay. <coughs> so um, uh, uh, let me uh, dig a bit more into the detail of this dual degree program. So the, basically, the, the call of application is in February. So in the February or first year, you can apply for. Uh, uh, being admitted uh, to this double degree program and so spend your second year in one of these two universities. So we have two positions for our virtual double degree and the selection is based basically on the performance on the uh, exam session up to February. Okay, so in terms of how many exams you have passed and your uh, GPA. Okay, and then you, as I was saying, you spend your second year studies at the uh, partner university. Okay, and so but you you don't and you don't have to pay extra tuition. Okay, so you keep paying your tuition fees at the University of Tor Vergada as usual, and plus you you can also apply to the Erasmus scholarship. So you can uh, you know you can also have uh, some some scholarship to to uh, and extra funds to attend uh, this uh, uh, this double degree. Okay, and then at the end of the program you will have two degrees as as was specified before. Okay. Um, what kind of scholarship and grants we, we have? So at the end of the first year, we do have uh, some prizes for our best performing students. So we give some uh, um, uh, uh, monetary prizes to the three best uh, students of uh, according to their performance in the first year. And during the program, uh, you know, we also offer a reimbursement to the student that uh, uh, they undertake the GRE, which is uh, an exam that is required uh, uh, if you want to apply for a, a PhD. And we do reimburse the, the expense that, that you may have uh, on uh, undertaking this uh, international test. Okay. So tutoring. So that, what kind of tutoring service we do offer our students? So, First of all, uh, each student uh, upon admission, when they admit and they start the first year, they're assigned a personal tutor. Who is the personal tutor? So is one of the professor of uh, the master, okay? So this is a person you can relate which whenever you have uh, any, any issue, you wanna talk about anything, you wanna advise. Of course, you can also always uh, come to me. So I'm the mechanic coordinator. So I'm the tutor of all the students. But in, uh, uh, you know, in addition to, to myself and Professor Belotti, who is also in charge of student relations, you have also another figure of, of a person that is there to talk with you and uh, you know, uh, advise you whenever you want to discuss anything, okay? On top of this, we do have uh, job orienting seminars. So, so towards the end of the first year, we start having some seminars where we uh, uh, give uh, uh, advice to, uh, to the student on how to look for jobs, how to look for a PhD program if they want to keep studying and this kind of thing. So we, 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 we give a close advice on this. And also we have some uh, yearly alumni meetings where some of our alumni, they come to Tor Vergada and you know, we, we do have a, a day event where they discuss about their experience and you can connect with them, you know, and uh, you know, um, learn about uh, their, uh, uh, their 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 career and so on. So forth. Okay. Uh, so who are our students? So we we um, it's a small group uh, of uh, talented students. So we admit uh, you know our class is around 20, 25 students each year. So you know we have. Um, you know, uh, a small class uh, and, uh, you know, where, you know, because we want this to be an excellent program where we, we do have, uh, we, we can, we are able to focus uh, 
on uh, our students, you know, devote them lots of attention. So we have, uh, you know, we are looking for highly talented, motivated, motivated students. So it is selective. So half of the applicant, uh, uh, only half of the applicant is, is admitted. We have, as I was saying, international classes. So 30% of our students uh, is uh, are international and they have a broad academic uh, uh, broad background, not just in economics, we uh, also in business administration, political and science international relations and engineering, okay? So despite the fact of being an advanced course, uh, you know, where we, you know, we, have, we offer advanced classes, you know, and, and of course we, we challenge our student, you know, our students, you know, they do have an excellent academic performance, okay? So the fact that, you know, these are advanced course, but we do devote lots of time in, uh, in, in training and helping our students. So the 81% of our students then complete their first year X amount of time. Their 50% of them, they, they do an international experience in the sense they spend one or two semester abroad. And uh, you know, the 89% of our students graduate at the end of time with an excellent academic performance. So, you know, once once uh, you know you you uh, you are admitted, we you know, uh, you know, we, we know that you, you may, you know, if you, if you work hard and you are motivated, uh, you know, there is a very high chance you're going to graduate in time with a very good uh, performance. Okay. Um, what are our employment statistics? Uh, you know, you see that, uh, you know, I, I would say they are rather remarkable. So after, uh, you know, one year after uh, graduation, basically all, uh, almost all of our students are employed, okay? So, you know, we, we, uh, we have, uh, uh, of course, we, uh, the, the, you know, the, you know, the kind of program we offer, you know, the training, for example, in, you know, if you, for, for people looking for companies or uh, institution looking for data analyst, you know, that's definitely something we, uh, you know, our graduates are very good at, uh, financial risk analyst, investment analyst, you know, of course, you know, also university professors. So this is also a program that is very well trained you if you wanna then keep studying or, and, uh, uh, and do a PhD, uh, if you wanna work in public, uh, in the public sector and so on and so forth, okay. So in terms of type of placement, uh, you can see here from this slide, basically we have uh, basically a 50, uh, you know, a perfect, almost perfect split. So uh, half of our students, you know, they go and work in uh, uh, in the private sector or in uh, international uh, or, or in in in, uh, in the in institution sector. Okay, so industry broadly broadly uh, refer. Okay, uh, both in Italy and abroad, and uh, half about half of our students is that decide to uh, pursue a, pursue a PhD. Okay also in uh, both in Italy and, uh, and abroad. Okay, so uh, what I want to stress is this uh, a master program that is preparing you well, both from uh, the private sector and national international organization, because it's giving you the skills and the knowledge that is in very high demand, uh, both uh, from uh, private company, consultancy, institution, okay? Uh, that require you know a deep understanding of economics and the uh, and the good uh, uh, you know uh, skills in terms of data analysis and also it's a very good program if you uh, uh, you wanna pursue a, a career in uh, uh, in academia okay because it's, it's very well trained for for a PhD okay. You know, some, uh, uh, some of our graduates, just to give you a, a, a snapshot of our recent graduates, you know, as you can see, uh, there are uh, uh, people working as uh, a, a statistic, statistic analysis at the World Food Organization or uh, at the OECD. Some people that, uh, you know, they are uh, more, they are more uh, academic oriented, they are working as a research assistant uh, in the uh, Toulouse School of Economics, uh, University of Chicago, Northwestern, or they're doing a bit here Northwestern, and uh, some people that work at the European Central Bank and so on and so forth. So you see, we, we do have this uh, broad, uh, um, uh, um, uh, broad uh, uh, set of uh, uh, 
uh, of, of placement. Okay. And you can, you know, if you go to our web page, you can see, uh, you know, all the alumni and the placement for each academic year and also read some of the testimonials of our students about their experience in the master. Okay. And, you know, these are also some of the uh, you know, career paths of our uh, graduates, both uh, the national and international uh, level. Okay. All right. So uh, now let me tell you a bit more. Uh, you know, the practical, uh, some practical information. So we, uh, uh, the application are open. So how to apply? So you have to go to the web page of our master. You can find the link to the admission. And then, uh, you know, you, you click there and, you know, it's all online. You have to uh, upload some documents, I'll tell you. And then within one month, you will uh, receive by mail uh, the, the decision of the admission board. Okay. What kind of material is required? So you have to upload a uh, scan copy of your passport or ID or national ID, your uh, high school diploma or self declaration, your uh, um, uh, official transcript from your bachelor, okay, and your CV, your curriculum view, okay. There are also some non-compulsory documents that we do suggest the student to, to upload, for example, a cover letter to tell you why you're interested in our program, a peer reference letter from some professor you know, um, uh, some uh, English proficiency certificate if you have, or some GRE or GMAT, uh, 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 certificate you have. Okay, so these are not compulsory, but at least the cover letter, you know, would be, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, uh, appreciated. Okay, uh, what is the deadline? Okay, so uh, the, for non EU applicants who reside abroad, the, uh, the deadline is the 8th of June. Okay, so if you are, uh, if you are a non EU citizen and you don't live in Italy, you do have to apply by the 8th of June, okay? For all the others, okay, for EU applicants or non-EU that live in Italy is the third of August, okay? As I was saying, you don't need to upload any English uh, certificate, okay? You can, but if you do have, you can apply, you can uh, submit with your application. Uh, if you are admitted, uh, you cannot defer the acceptance, okay? So if you, if you wish to delay, delay your studies, you will have to reapply next year, okay? Uh, the program starts at the end of August, okay? Because uh, we, uh, we do um, have, uh, you know, the math course and the pre course in statistics starts early. And the first uh, semester student might follow, must follow mathematics, statistics and coding. Um, and uh, and I, was, I was saying, you know, there is a pre-course in statistics. Okay, you can also apply if you don't have graduated yet. Okay, so even if you are still doing your undergraduate, okay, you can still submit your confer, you can your bachelor degree. Okay, um, uh, so so, um, so basically, if you are admitted and you have not earned a bachelor degree, you uh, must attend anyway the classes, okay? And you have to graduate by the admin session, okay? So basically you, uh, you have to basically by, uh, by, by October, I would say, you know, you have to graduate by, by October so that uh, you can officially enroll in the program in, uh, uh, in November, okay? But you do have to start, uh, you know, attending the classes in uh, uh, the end of August, okay? Um, and of course, if you are non new student with a foreign degree, you must graduate by the pre enrollment data that is established by the Italian embassy in your the country where you live. Okay. There is not a limit in the number of students admitted, but uh, it is necessary to have a knowledge, knowledge of economic theory and quality analysis. So it's up to us to. Now we're gonna look at your CV, uh, your transcript uh, and all the documents you submit. And we, we're gonna judge on, uh, so we don't have a target number of students, but you know, we, we are looking for quality and motivation, okay. Uh, it's not possible to attend the program for the second semester. So if you are admitted, you do have to start attending the program on the first semester, 
Okay. In terms of tuition, you know, the annual tuition fees range from a minimum of 150 euros, uh, around 150 euros per year, okay, to a maximum of around 4,000 euros. Okay. So this depends on the family income, the, you know, according to an Italian indicator. So if you live abroad, you have some conversion, uh, you know, there, there is a procedure to calculate this, okay. Uh, but uh, this is the range, okay, which is, you know, uh, if you compare to an international program, the tuition fee are, are, rather, are rather low, okay. So we have uh, a program office, Camilla, uh, Stella, uh, who is uh, also here with us today, is uh, in charge of, uh, you know, administering uh, the admission, the placement uh, uh, and the student assistance. Uh, Jennifer really is, uh, you know, organizing uh, uh, all the administrative issues and uh, student presence. And Susie White is that uh, is in charge of organizing uh, the, the lectures. Okay, so uh, you know, and this is the email. Uh, okay, msc underscore economics at economia dot uh, uniroma two dot at. Well, you can write and you can find also on the website, you can find, you can write if you have any question about the program or you wanna have any, uh, any information, okay? And this is our, our web page, okay. Okay, that's, uh, that's all for me. I'll be happy to answer any question you may have. Uh, I, I, um, okay, so I guess, I can, you know, I can look at the, the question you have uh, online. Yes, of course. So we have quite a few questions, but I think Camilla has answered. Okay, Camilla already. has answered uh, all of them, I guess. Yes, but we can ask a few um, out to the audience as well. I think some of them are okay. a bit relevant, so it'd be good to hear from, from you. Okay, so ab about the, 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 the administrative question, I, I think, uh, uh, you know, Camilla knows more than me, so I'm not going to um, Okay, the general answer. question. So, uh, you know, how I my grades need to be, uh, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, that the, the, we don't have a specific threshold, you know, I mean, we're going to look at the overall uh, grades you have uh, in mathematics course, in your course, I mean, we, we do have, I mean, we have large experience to, to know, to, to look at your CV, look at your traffic, and know what is the big picture, you know, what kind of motivation commitment you have. So. Uh, I mean, in general, you know, some, some knowledge of mathematics is important to, to undertake this master. That's definitely yes. Um, uh, um, Are there many extracurricular activities for, for students to attend on campus? Um, yeah, I think, you know, there, there, are, uh, there are many uh, that we organize and also the university organize. We have a buddy program where you can connect with the students. We have some language uh, lab. Uh, um, I mean, we, we, we do have both at the university uh, wide. I mean, uh, Camilla you know, listed some of our masters, but in general, the university is offering many extracurricular activities for our students. Uh, can I take part to a dual degree, try different subject? Uh, I'm not sure what, what you mean, no, but you know, the dual degree is like first year Master of Economics in Torbergada, second year Master of Economics in Gothenburg or Constance. You cannot do like a second year Master in Political Science or Engineering in Gothenburg. So this is, you know, because you, you get, you're gonna get a degree Master degree in economics from Gothenburg and Torbergada, so you need to. Uh, so you cannot uh, uh, take uh, you know classes on different subjects. Okay. Uh, so the, the scholarship. So there are some uh, uh, some scholarship. You know that uh, non, uh, uh, that you know the, the uh, Italian government offer to you students for if they have a low income. Uh, um, and uh, so that, that's something, uh, you know, I guess in the, in the link, uh, Camilla posted your information. And uh, this is the same research program funding. Uh, uh, the final uh, mission also, you know, the, as I mentioned, is no new applicant date of June, uh, the other, the, the, the August. 
say makes a great cover letter. You know, what, a, a great cover letter, I think, you know, is, you know, you have to tell us why you are interested in coming to the Orbergard and why you think you will fit well in the program. That's, uh, uh, you know, any, any, any English proficiency certificate is uh, be fine. Okay. So if you guys have any way, any other question, you know, in chat or you wanna just talk, I don't know if you're, they can talk or if you wanna know. They can enter the chat, yes. Well, okay. either way, uh, we will be reaching out to them with a recording as well. So um, you'll be able to ask questions post webinar as well. Uh, you will be getting out and reaching out to the students as well post webinar for more questions to come. Okay. Any last words before we wrap up? No, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm so I, I do hope uh, some of you guys or all of you guys will apply and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, looking forward to see you in Tervergada. Yes, awesome. And thank you, Camilla, for answering all the questions. You have been brilliant, really, really receptive. All right. Well, thank everybody. you. Thank you for attending and for those of you watching on demand, we will be reaching out to you very shortly after the webinar takes place. Uh, be sure to send any questions in if you do have any further ones and we will be in touch very soon. All right, everybody, have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.